Cilia and flagelli, wherever they occur, have the same underlying structure. They are made up of fine strands known as microtubules. These microtubules are nearly always arranged in a particular basic pattern. The electron microscope reveals an outer circle of nine pairs with a larger central pair. And at the base of each flagellum or cilium is the so-called basal body. So how do they operate? Study of the chemical structure of the cilium suggests that the tubules slide over one another, rather like muscle filaments do when a muscle contracts. The action of the flagellum is difficult to analyze. At first sight, it looks somewhat like a whiplash. But if we slow it down, we can see that it shows bending forces all along its length at the points at which it is active. If we consider the action of an individual cilium, on the other hand, we can find two distinct phases. There is the downward motion of the power stroke and the upward motion of the recovery stroke with all the cilia beating in a coordinated manner rather like wind blowing over a cornfield. As there is no evidence for any electrical controlling system, it is thought that the coordination is due to the viscous drag of the fluid between the cilia. The drag occurs because the force required to pull the molecules of the fluid apart is greater than the force required to pull the next cilium towards the one already beating. Scientists are still not too sure about this, and because the cilia are so small and difficult to study, it may be some time before we unravel all their secrets. We do know, however, that cilia and flagelli have close similarities with the mitotic spindle fibers which appear during cell division, and the basal bodies of the cilium or flagellum are similar to the centriole from which the spindle fibers form. There are also random pieces of microtubule in many different cells.